Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, especially the picker community, I want to thank you for coming back and watching our videos. I'm Dallas with East Texas Estate Liquidators. Um, we put out our first video last week. We've got a great response from it and we're really excited to be bringing you another video. We thought we'd do a video today on uh, some of the things we've sold over the last week or so. Go over them a little bit, show you what we sold and how much we paid for them and uh, maybe give you guys some ideas on some things that you might not have thought about picking up. Um, that's why I watch your guys' videos and I hope you get a little bit from this. Well, it's a cold day out here in East Texas, so uh, it's nice and warm in my office, so we'll get started. First thing here is a pretty cool little Majolica uh, platter. It's got a snake on it. Snakes always seem to sell well. There's a local store in our area that sells uh, merchandise from a high-end retailer that has a distribution center here in our area. The money goes to a local charity, and uh, usually what they do is they price them at 50% of whatever the retail cost was. Like this one was uh, $225. And the longer it stays there, the cheaper it gets. And then uh, right before New Year's, between Christmas and New Year's, they have a huge sale where they discount everything an additional 50%. Um, we ended up buying this platter for 25 bucks. Uh, I had it on for about a week. Had some offers in the 50 to 60 dollar range that I passed on. I had it up for 99.95. Uh, we finally sold it. I took an offer of 85 dollars plus shipping. It's a pretty cool plate. You can see the bright colors, cool snake. Um, like I said, it, I thought it was pretty neat. That's why we picked it up. Next thing here, this is uh, gave me belief that there are still good deals at Goodwills. Uh, the other day I was uh, running some errands, just kind of stopped into a Goodwill about 20 miles from my house, and this was sitting on the shelf for $7.95. Um, brought it home, tested it on my Nikon camera, took wonderful pictures. I don't think it was ever used. I don't know how they priced it at $7.95, but uh, I'll take it. Uh, we sold it in a day for $89.95, so that's pretty quick, good turnaround on this item. Um, if you guys haven't checked out the 1 to 50K challenge, they do some great stuff on uh, camera and camera equipment, and I've learned a ton from them. I'd go over there and check out their channel if uh, you get a second. It's really, uh, they do a great job, father and son team. Next thing I got on Thursday at a local estate sale, um, the guy whose estate it was was a longtime mechanic in the dragster industry back from all the way back to the 60s, and he had some really cool stuff. I spent a good amount of money over there, bought some neat stuff. This is one of them. Uh, this is a pic, uh, souvenir picture. It's 10 by 8. Uh, on the front, it had a picture of the dragster. On the back, it has the uh, driver information and all that kind of stuff. The uh, mechanic on uh, this car was the gentleman who I purchased from the estate that I purchased this from. We paid $3 a piece for him. I bought uh, a total of two, sold them to the same individual for $29.95 plus shipping for each one. Uh, like I said, in about 24 hours, so it was a good, quick turnaround, easy money. Next uh, item here is a Brioni uh, white classic dress shirt. Got this at that big uh, store that sells for the uh, high-end retailer in my area. Paid $15 for this shirt. I thought it would bring more. I thought it would bring closer to 100 but it did not have the tags on it. It was a new shirt, but did not have the tags on it. So I put it as a pre-owned shirt. Uh, ended up taking an offer for 55 bucks just to kind of move the money. Uh, still made some good profit, but uh, like I said, I thought it would bring some more. Um, next thing I got at that same place, these are Think Rollerball pens. They retail for about 90 bucks. Um, I bought a total of 15 of these pens, two in this color scheme, but uh, 15 total. I uh, sold them all for $49.95 plus shipping um, for each each uh, pen. They did not have the inserts in the pens, which on a rollerball pen cost you about 2 bucks at any office depot or a place like that. So that's not a big thing. Um, 
They're normally priced $25 at the store, but 50% off. I paid $12.50 a piece. Made some good money. Like I said, I got 15 of these and uh, did real well on those. Bought this and some other pieces of this same Desco cast iron, iron uh, enamel wear. They're red and orange, kind of a cool color scheme on them. I paid $2.95 at our local Goodwill for them. For this piece, I bought a total of five pieces. This one is the only one that I've sold so far. I've only had them on for about a week, 10 days, but uh, did well on it. Sold it for 30 bucks, and uh, the owner paid the, or the buyer paid the shipping. Got this at Goodwill also. This is uh, CC Filson, which is a brand out of Seattle that has a pretty good following, especially in like the fly fishing community and stuff like that. Um, it's an outdoors thick, 100% uh, cotton shirt. You'll see these occasionally, or I see them occasionally at Goodwill. I paid uh, $2.95. I bought a total of four that day. Um, sold this one for 30 bucks. I still have the other three. I've got a couple of offers, but uh, just going to hang on to them for a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more. But uh, 30 bucks for a $3 purchase, I take that all day long. This here is a Pendleton uh, wool shirt, uh, plaid shirt. Paid $4.95 for this at a local Goodwill also. Um, sold it quick for $28 plus they paid the shipping. These Pendleton shirts, as if you've been watching uh, other people's videos, you know they they sell well. And uh, I think this is the fourth or fifth one I've had here in the last four or five months. And uh, always do well with them. They always sell for, you know, about $35 shipped, so you can't really complain there. Next thing here, this is a vintage steel stamp punch set that they use to punch steel with the numbers on it. It is missing one of the punches. Uh, I bought it at an estate sale for, I believe, $2, maybe $3.00. Um, it was on a second day of an estate sale, 50% off. I think I paid $2.50 for it because I think it was normally $5. So uh, sold it for $25, bucks, 10 times my money, Owner pay, or buyer pays the shipping. Again, you know, you can make some money on these tools and this equipment, stuff like this, especially the vintage stuff from, uh, you know, this is in a cool wooden box. You usually pick these up pretty cheap at a garage sale or estate sale, so uh, keep your eyes open for those. Next here is a uh, pretty cool jacket. Uh, came from that same estate I went to on Thursday um, with the dragster stuff. I bought a total of eight jackets. Uh, I got them running an auction right now. This one sold for my buy it now price of $199.95. I paid $20 for this jacket. I uh, sold it within... 36 hours, so uh, good quick turnaround, easy, t 10 times my money. I can't complain on this one bit, and uh, the buyer who purchased this is a collector. He's getting what he wanted. It's going to go into his personal collection, so uh, it's a win-win situation. Next thing here, this is a metal detector. I bought this at a local estate uh, auction um, back about... 10 days ago or so, I paid $150 for it plus 10% uh, buyer's premium, so it ended up being $165. Bucks. Sold it for $500 48 hours later. Um, you know, you can't really complain. You take some pictures and you make 300 bucks. I mean, that's what life's all about, isn't it? And uh, Again, this is a White's metal detector, which is a really good brand, one that you can keep your eye out for. Um, when I was doing research on this, something else that I kind of found that was interesting, these um, metal detectors, this base here that actually does the detecting, there's some that go out there that sell for thousands of dollars, and, uh, you know, that's something that you might see at an estate sale or an estate auction or an auction that nobody's really going to know what it is that you can put into your memory banks that, uh, hey, if I see something like this, maybe it's something I might want to pick up. Just an idea. 
Next thing, again, from the 1 to 50K challenge, they do a great job. Um, this lens was at that same estate auction that I bought the metal detector at. I bought a, a whole case of uh, camera equipment. It had this lens, a camera body, another lens, um, a flash, um, the bag itself. I sold, I, I paid $90 for the entire lot. I sold the camera body for $75. I sold the other lens for $75. I sold the bag for $50. I sold the camera flash for $50. And then I sold this lens here for $479.95. Now, 1 to 50K challenge are big proponents of breaking up this camera equipment. You're going to get more money for it. And I 100% agree after this transaction. Um, I can't be more happy with uh, what I've learned from especially them, but everyone else out there in the picking community, It's it's been wonderful. I learn something new every day. But uh, that's our sales and what we've done here for uh, about the last week or so. Sales have been a little bit slow, but I can't really complain. Making money, that's what life's all about. Again, I want to thank you guys for uh, watching my video here. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. And again, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. And I'll try to get some more out. Next week, I plan on doing a video to kind of go over our shipping and packaging operation so that you can kind of see how we have it set up in our warehouse and uh, what we do to... Uh, ship and package our merchandise that we sell and get it out to our, our customers. But again, I want to thank you for watching my video, and if you have anything to say, please leave it in the comment section. Thanks, guys.